good morning and welcome to a brand new video. We just checked out of our hotel here at the Holiday Inn Express at Newport City and I think we're going to head over to Green Hills where we booked in to stay at the Summit Hotel next yeah. to Green Hills. But we're just trying to get a grab at the moment but there don't seem to be any available. We tried to do this yesterday at the airport just to say it was walking over here with our bags but there was no grabs like anywhere on the map so hopefully we can find one stay to get us over to Green Hills. But the hotel was really good here at the Holiday Inn. The beds were so comfortable. I must have fallen asleep in like 10 minutes after getting into bed. And I've just heard good news about the grab and the driver's on the way. So they should be here shortly to get us to our new hotel. After our short taxi ride to uh, Summit from uh, the Holiday Inn, we finally arrived. It only took us about half an hour. Traffic was quite good today. Usually when you're driving around Ed, you can get stuck in traffic for bloody ages and it could take an hour or so to get around, but it was perfect today. Got here half an hour, got here early as well. The time at the moment is only 11.25 and the, let's check in. Check-in's not supposed to be till two o'clock, so that's great on them for letting us check in so early. At least we've got somewhere to put our bags so then we can go out for an explore in a moment. Maybe go to Green Hills Market. We'll need to go to uh, Reg's family as well who live up in uh, San Mateo, which isn't too far from here. So the reason we chose to stay at Summit is so we could go see Reg's family, go to Green Hills, and then it's not too far from the airport for tomorrow. So it's a perfect place for us, really. The views are great from our room. If we look outside, got nice views across the city. But anyway, just get our stuff ready and then probably head out in a moment and see what's around. Left the hotel now, time to walk down to Green Hills, which is only down the bottom of this road. Reg is excited, but it's literally from where we were staying to get down there must only be like a five minute walk. And at least it's not too hot today. I thought it was going to be like 38 degrees, but it's quite cool and cloudy. So for my pasty white skin, it's quite good. So at least I don't have to worry about getting sunburned today. It'll probably be a different story when we get to the islands. But by that point, I should have some sun cream. But anyway, we'll carry on a walk down to Green Hills and see what we can find when we get in there. heading over to the Faith Market. We've come over to the new mall here in Green Hills. It's actually really nice. You've got Foot Locker, there's loads of other shops knocking about. Also really quiet compared to like SM, which is always like mad busy. I walk around here, there's no one about. Definitely different. I think it's quite new though, because it wasn't here a year ago when we came to uh, Philippines. But now we're just trying to find our way down and then we're gonna go to the other mall, which is attached to Green Hills. Down those for a couple of minutes and it starts getting a bit overwhelming partly because we're not used to it because back in the uk you don't really get any of that stuff but we've come out now anyway we've come to my old favorite we've come to the army navy so i get myself a massive burger i haven't had one of these in forever they're absolutely amazing it's just opposite the i'm not sure what exit we're at actually it's along like a road so we're just waiting for that to arrive i can stuff my face full of burger and the burger's arrived Let's see what this is like. I think it's gonna be a bloody mess. It's all over my fingers already. 
see if we can get a mouthful of this, but it's probably about the size of my mouth. really good so juicy I've got the sauce all over my fingers now I've also got the chips as well with the fries mm. they're really good definitely better than McDonald's chips get the rest of this burger finished because I'm going to get sauce all over my mouth. That's the burger completed. That didn't last long. That must have gone literally in seconds. But it was so juicy. It was amazing. All pours down your fingers. So you spend a lot of time trying to lick it up. But I definitely recommend it. They're the best burgers you can get in the Philippines. It's better than McDonald's or Burger King. I haven't tried Wendy's. Maybe that's something we should try one time as well. It's like five guys level. Which these ones, yeah. We both agree that these ones are similar to Five Guys. And we all know they're like the best burgers you can get. They're absolutely amazing, those ones. This is on par with that. So if you're in Manila or in the Philippines, they're all over the uh, country. It's definitely a place you need to come to. That's our shopping done at Green Hills for today. No doubt we'll come back here again at some point. So I can buy some more stuff. mind out and walking into people but time now for us to head back up to the hotel which is just literally up the top of this road the sun's out now it's absolutely <coughs> baking we're going to get frazzled alive for everyone here so we're going to go walk in the shade on the way back up to the hotel up the top of the road but Reg is happy she uh, got some glasses when we were in Colombo in November which they put the wrong what was it the wrong lens? Wrong lens, yeah. So my eyes got worse. We managed to get those fixed, and it's so cheap over here. She only got, she got the lenses for what was it? Not even twenty pounds. Yeah, it was like one thousand two hundred pesos. So it's like less than twenty pounds. It's an absolute bargain. And in thirty minutes. Yeah, and done straight away. Took them in, ripped them out, and banged the new ones straight in. Most of the places we've ever been to, we've been to to check us out. It takes them like a week or so to do it, and they charge like fifty pounds. Let's do a quick room tour of our room here at the summit. So we have our nice big bed. It's absolutely huge. We come round. We've got our view overlooking the city. Nice views across of the skyscrapers. I'm not sure what area that is. Is that Ortigas? Yeah, that's a mega mall area. So that's Ortigas, is where mega mall and all that stuff is around there. I've got a nice big television. We come back round. We've got a kettle, a safe, a fridge, which I assume is empty. And I was right. And we come around to our nice big bathroom. Got a big shower with soap, a toilet, sink, and of course the B day, the most important part. Which I didn't really know what a B day was but the first time I came to the Philippines. I thought it was for cleaning your feet, which I turned out to be very much wrong. sister's brand new Toyota I think it is. Yep. It is brand new. It's got literally like 70 miles on the clock. It's mad. Really, really nice. Air conditioning is great. As soon as you put it on it was freezing cold. But now we have to contend with Reg's driving. <laughs> well, I wouldn't trust my driving here. I drive like an English person so I let everyone pass all the time. So we'll still be in uh, the condo if it was me at the, at the wheel. But anyway, we've got to drive now up to San Mateo, which is like maybe an hour away. It's just outside the city. And 
we've arrived back from our adventure up to San Mateo. We managed to get up on Reg's aunt's sunroof for a little bit. Stuck the drone up in the air to try and get some shots of the sunset looking over Manila. Although uh, the drone got, got a little bit lost in the ends, but luckily it came back when Reg suggested that I pointed at the clouds and try and aim it towards a cloud I can see. And turned out the drone was right above my head. <laughs> But we've made it back now to Reg's sister's apartment, which is, I don't know where we are. Where are we? Kai Residences. Which is in? In Mandalunion. In Mandalunion. Near we're, Makati. Near Makati. We're trying to go to the rooftop. The views should be great up there. You'll see all of Ed's stirring over in Makati, I'm guessing. Let's we'll drop our keys off to her now and then try and get up onto the roof deck. And we've made it to the roof terrace here. The views are pretty mad. You can see everything across Manila, really. You can walk all around the terrace, there's views across to BGC, I think it is over there. And it must be Makati. And pretty much everything, everything in the city you can see from the top of here, this building's so high, it must be like 40, 45th floor or so, I guess. But the views are pretty epic. Just got back to our room here at the Summer in Greenhills. The views at the top of the roof deck terrace are absolutely amazing. You can see everything across the city. It's probably like the best views I've seen. Any time I've been into Manila, they're absolutely great. Everywhere you walk around the roof deck, you can see different parts of the city, off to BGC, Ortigas, Makati. After we left uh, Reg's sister's house, we just went for a dinner and a couple of drinks. And now we'll come back to the room. So tomorrow we've got an exciting day planned. So stay tuned and see what we get up to tomorrow because it's definitely worth watching. We'll see you then. Bye.